right. Okay. Here we are. Here yep. we are. Another week. Another week. Another Joey, day. what is this? Do you want to do this right now? This set, want, set, let's this, just unpackage this, this bad boy. Let all. John unbox this thing first. So right. what is this, John? So we got a fan that uh, is on a nuclear submarine. Uh, deep in the ocean, an actual submarine, not the nuclear uh, sub. That's like uh, like uh, K nineteen, the Widowmaker. Yeah, it can like, like I think it can like go forever because it has like a nuclear reactor in it. How does that work? And it also has nuclear weapons in it. Right. So instead of running on gas, there's a, a nuclear reactor. And it yeah, can, and it it, could it's just, like it, at least hundreds of years it could go without yeah. like refueling. It could just be underwater forever or something. It's that's crazy. cool. Yeah. yeah, this country kicks ass. Okay. Uh, but yeah, he sent a care package, and uh, I haven't opened it up yet. From the sub. From the sub. God, how, how does that work? I don't know. Oh, they shoot it out of a torpedo. <laughs> <laughs> right to the post office? Yeah. So, okay, so it's... We got some stuff from Japan. Japanese, it just says strong. Oh, 9% alcohol. Oh, yeah. These, Kirin, it's is, a Kirin. It's a Kirin. It's, it's like, an orange-flavored Kirin. It looks oh, like it's... it's like a Japanese seltzer or it's something. It's their white claws. Yeah. yeah. Check that out. That's fucking sick. Yeah, let's throw them in the fridge. I'm going to crack it. mine open right now. Look at that Japanese, um, Japanese writing. Does the, he sent, what are these, candy cigarettes? What the fuck are these? Are these real cigs? Whoa, no, Devin, candy. have yours. I don't want to. It's right warm. It's, it's warm. like warm. Oh, let me taste it, though. It's fucking good. Let Devin taste mine. Probably full of radioactive shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just like a really good hard seltzer. That's strong. You could taste the yeah, liquor in that. It's 9%. Here, oh, we got more. Back to oh, you don't have a three. taste? Oh, have know. a taste, dude. So you can review it for the. Um, I'm disgusted by John. Oh shit, too. that's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty a bunch good. of Japanese for nine percent. It's like amazing. Okay, look at this. Okay. Uh, this looks. I don't, oh, it's like an incense burner. I think that's that's from for Japan. opium. From op or opium. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, green tea Kit Kats. Green tea Kit Kats. Oh, we got some little tiny Sapporos. Those are. D those Wait, what are, is that? This is for your baby. If you want to get your baby hammered. <laughs> <laughs> Give your little baby a nice little Sapporo got, to go. Ooh, sake flavored Kit Kats. Whoa. Holy cannoli. Sake. All right. I've never really got, been eating food. And be like, this is what I've been waiting for. I wish this tasted like sake. This is the. I'm uh, desperately acting like I don't have all of this available to me one block from where I is, live. Yeah. Go on. This is, uh, this is what I've been waiting for the USS Louisiana Challenge coin. Oh, shit. From the is Navy. this whiskey? Oh, it looks like whiskey, man. Habusiu Oruma. By the way, I was kidding. I don't have a lot of this. Yeah, that kicks I've never ass. seen a lot of this stuff. And this, this is pretty sick. Chiefs, can I say, can I read this? Yeah, yeah, you can read that. He gave me like a, we can't say his name because it's secret, top secret. Basically. Well, so there, I think the name of the sub is on this. So yeah, you I can say the name of the sub. Yeah. How? You can say that you just can't say his name. And also, that's not the sub he's currently on. Okay, so it's yeah. SSBN 743. Welcome, welcome to Tokyo 2020. Saved. We got to hang this up. The, the best studio. for yeah. last. Japan Pride. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Is this like gay? Is this oh, it's like the Olympics. The gay, the gay people? Is this oh, what I, they clean the bukkakis with? See, the gays have really like gentrified the word pride. Oh, does it say? I thought I that must have been for gay people. No, this Japan. is them being proud of the massacre mm -hmm. at Nanking. Very oh, good. Very yeah. good, John. Very good. And so it looks like a Mexican thing. It's Louisiana, so it's like a voodoo, it's like oh, a voodoo God. skull that um, for Japanese cholos, for Japanese <laughs> cholos, yeah, for for Japanese juggalos. Nice. So we can't oh, say the guy's sick. name, but thank sick. you, thank yeah. you so much, thank you so thank much you for sir. your this service. Kicks ass. And, all right, now put it. I'm gonna back. take put this it, home. Let's all put it away. This is not very entertaining. Well, yeah, I'm gonna fucking. John's just obsessed with people sending him stuff. He's I like, Ooh, look at me. Dude. I finally got a cool thing. It is kind I'm of fun to have him. people send stuff. It is. Fun. It is cool. But John, send is stuff, this, guys. Is this what is this? Sake or beer? John, it's it's little to go. Sapporo goes, to Sapporo to go. Oh, it's a little tiny. Yes. But is it? But John, is it? come on. Oh, it is a little right, beer. Okay, get out of here. Yeah, John's acting like he's like never seen anything before. You, you've never seen Sapporo? All right, no. All right, no, no. Let's give John these plastic bags so he could shit and uh, <laughs> put his belongings on them when he gets evicted. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Yeah, that's, how's that going? John is. I'm gonna suing fuck his, my landlord. Uh, landlord. I'm fucking him in the ass. Uh, I may. <laughs> I may. Uh, you wish. <laughs> I may. Uh, <laughs> I may be staying like. Uh, I'm I'm gonna like I'm gonna squ essentially squat in the house. It's gonna it's gonna rock, and you can't do anything about it. You know what's funny? You're everything yeah. you hate. What do you mean? You hate people that use use use. You you're you're a you use, you're, use, a, use. you're a pull yourself up by your bootstraps type no, of guy. guy and now guy you're now you're squatting. You're like a hate Ashbury like fucking you know street person. This guy deserves it. He sucks ass. 
He's the worst guy ever. Mm. He's the worst. Yeah. And he, uh, so, but you are, we can, I can you know, say now that you squat. Here, I can go, John, my friend John squats. Yeah. Well, no, it's not squat. I'm paying him rent, but I'm just paying him far less than what he wants. Ironic. Uh, a man that can't actually squat is squatting. Am I, can I right, squat folks? squat this shit. <laughs> no, you can't. I, uh, really, you squat uh, to take shit. You squat on wild. cock. Um, the, uh, <laughs> that was good. The, uh, uh, what was I going to say? You got me distracted. Um, oh, yeah. So I'm going to pay him far less than what he wants. And then essentially I'm going to just hold out because, you know, I have like a lawyer on my side. And I knew it was bad when I moved into the house. And uh, I knew immediately. Can we I talk about how it's guy. tearing your life apart? Yeah. That you're not taking responsibility for any of it. John is what losing. He's losing friends by the oh, day. Yeah. My roommates are all moving out. People are, everyone's moving me. out. Uh, he's yeah. really alienated a lot of people. John will sit well, there on the couch uh, after pioneering this giant lawsuit against his landlord for just a lot of legitimate problems. Like there was oh, cockroaches, and rats, and raw there was sewage, a fire, fire that broke out. I got something left in this. And he was like breaking uh, regulation safety stuff and being a pretty bad landlord. Yeah, city but then city. so a lot of people yeah. just deal with it. But John finds a lawyer and he's mounting the biggest lawsuit possible. He's trying to take this guy for like hundreds of thousands <clears> of dollars. And John's roommate, our other friend, former producer of this show, J Lo, he's his name is on the lease, and so he put down like seven k or some massive. We all, uh, we all deposit. It. We all split it. But he put it down. He put it down initially. Oh, then and then you paid him back. So you each put oh, down. Okay, so that changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so never mind. Oh no no no. Oh no. I'm not, I thought yeah. he was still uh, no, fronting we all that. Equal amount. Got he it. Just, okay. Nobody could afford seven k except him initially. So, so that he, makes it a little bit yeah. better, but still his living situation, like his home where he goes to sleep at night, is shelter. Still, at the end of the day, John's acting like a Russian gypsy. Right, and he's still and J Lo has to sit there and go like, "Am I gonna have a place to sleep tonight?" No. Because of your lawsuit. And you're not compassionate. John just very proudly said, no. Yeah. No, no place no, to stay I, tonight. I, well, this is the thing. is like, I, I, this has been a year-long process. And it's like, yeah, no, th this isn't my fault. The guy's retaliating against us, basically. We would have new roommates moving in, but he's saying no more new roommates. So anytime someone moves out, the rent gets bigger and bigger. So it's like, this guy's just... It's not my fault. He's being a the, the landlord's being none. None of what I was doing should have ever affected. John him. saw an opportunity to be a litigious yeah. welfare baby. Yes, and he's taken it. Well, he thinks in a couple of years he'll get like a settlement. Hopefully, from this Japanese uh, hopefully in a couple slumlord. months. But Legal, um, I'm getting biased info from John because it's mm -hmm. coming. All the info I hear is from John. Yeah, but I do have to say, from what I'm hearing legally, it does kind of sound like a slam dunk. Oh, yeah. Now, we, we hope. Yeah, we have a year of the city of past. Like, if you have the city coming in and being like, yeah, this guy's not being a good landlord for a year, it's like, uh, yeah, it's a slam dunk. But ultimately, it still comes down to, like, what will the final payout be? Is it going to be worth it? You've ruined many friendships. Your life is in shambles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope you get paid in Cole's cash. Cole's cash. <laughs> Disney dollars. I hope that's. I hope your big payment is that you have a lifetime supply of whatever you want at Cole's. <laughs> no, I. I, uh, I, I think I'm gonna get him, and uh, you know, hopefully J Lo hops on board, and because that's the best thing you could do right now, and it'll be good for both. It's fun be growing older, and and you get to start having like, well, I got a lawyer. Yeah. I'm oh God. Suing. Yeah. Um, it's, I, I it's, you pull, you, you, it's big boy pants. It's because yeah. we it's all, time for the big boy pants for yeah. all of us. We got. We should all sue each other. I would love that. That'd I'm be gonna fun. sue the shit out Take of you. Take you guys Devin. to court. No, I'm suing you. Dude. I'm gonna sue you, retard. For what? I already sued you last night. For what? Being a dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> I go. He's hurting my life. He my brain cells are dying by the day. And, yeah. and they they the guy said I have a pretty good case. I have a lawyer that's actually this is kind of weird because this thing that I airdropped you could oh, yeah. eventually end in a lawsuit. What is this, Joey? Yeah. So so I'll set this up All real right. quick. Um. I love so this. Devin found this ad for sheath underwear. Mm -hmm. Devin, you want to go ahead and say the code? Yeah. <laughs> Where we, they're getting free. Are you what is what are you talking about? So this ties into the, this is an ad. Okay. So so David found an ad and basically hate watch for twenty percent. We don't yeah. have them right now. I don't want to like oh, advertise. Oh, we oh. did. We did them oh, last okay. week. Sorry, sorry. Not, we don't have one for this week. So, I, so we have this. But so what this is our sheet ad for this week? Yeah, pretty much. So basically, uh, John and I got jealous that Devin had an ad, and we were like, "Oh, look at this big slick kind of radio hot shot." Yeah, I think he's doing cool. ads, fucking retard. and he's wheeling and dealing. So yeah, kind of as a goof, I started emailing people, just being like, "Hey, we have this podcast," and trying to get John and I our own ad. Yeah, 
And one of the companies that we reached out to was this company, Dragon Drink, which is like a Dagestani energy drink. Yeah. <laughs> and they have been sponsoring a bunch of like MMA fighters well, and shit. Who's it? Who owns it? Well, Kamsat Chiam is like their flagship. Yeah. Um, I don't know who Athlete. that is. The fucking, the, the He's monster. got a cleft palate. Oh, He's got a cleft palate oh, and a yeah. Dagestani beard and shit. But so anyways, they find, like, somehow after, like, a bunch of back and forth, they were like, okay, yeah, we'll do it. Like, we'll actually do it. We'll it was a pain in the ass. And it so, was insane. So they ended up sending us, like, 600 bucks for three. We have to do this on three episodes. I can't I swear to God. All, I swear to fucking God. All right, can we play and, it? And, and then, yeah. so, but one final thing to set this up was, so they, uh, they want us to play this, which is their most recent ad that they have on Instagram. And then we asked them to write us a custom ad for a podcast that two podcast hosts could read together just because we thought it'd be funny like to see their broken English um, yeah. ad. But so play this, then we'll do it well, real I, fast and we'll get out of this. I right. cleaned it up a little bit. But. All right. Uh, yes, I'm Mr. Dragon Energy. Love him. That was it. Love him. Yeah, yeah. that's how these Dag like these Dagestani people are so. Um, Do they only have like six seconds of like of like data to so film? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, they're like an Nokia yeah, phone. Like, they're what was on. that odd? All right, let's just get this out of Salt the way. Salt of the earth. Are you host one or host two? I'll be host one. Sure. Okay, let's go. This is what um, Gazmot Gamzot from Dragon Energy sent us to read. They all sound like Gam. Yeah. So, so it's like host one and host two. So I'm host one. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum, dear listeners. Today we have a special treat for you: an advertisement for Dragon Drink. Salam, my friends. Dragon Drink is the powerful elixir from Dagestan, endorsed by the mighty Dagestani fighters. Let's dive into the blessings it brings. Dragon Drink is infused with caffeine, B vitamins, and taurine, the ingredients that make you soar like an eagle on the mountaintops. Let's explore their blessings one by one. Caffeine. Oh, the blessings it brings. It awakens the spirit, boosts focus and energy, just like the call to prayer at dawn. With Dragon Drink, you'll feel alive and ready to conquer the day. B vitamins, my friends, are the blessings that nurture your body's strength. They're like the mountain breeze, revitalizing your cells, supporting your energy levels, and keeping you resilient in the face of challenges. And let's not forget about the wondrous taurine. It's the secret of the strong mountain men of the Caucasus. It fortifies your inner warrior, enhances <laughs> endurance, and unleashes your hidden strength. With Dragon Drink, you'll be a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> Allahu Akbar, <laughs> brothers and sisters. Dragon Drink has been the source of energy and vitality for generations in the Caucasus. First of all, it can't be true. Sorry, I, uh, I, I don't want to. I think they're extrapolating. Now it's time for America to experience the blessings of Dragon Drink and rise to new heights. Indeed, my friends, let Dragon Drink be the beacon of strength that guides you on your path to greatness. Embrace the blessings of the Caucasus and bring your spirits and let your spirit soar like an eagle in flight. Real Don't clear, interrupt our ad. This sounds like Khalid Sheikh Muhammad doing an ad for jet fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it, you're going to ruin our ad. Fucking Sorry. up our ad, dude. So, my dear listeners, don't miss this opportunity to taste the power of Dragon Drink. It's time to unlock your inner strength and join the ranks of the mighty mountain men. Inshallah. Energize your soul, embrace the blessings, and let Dragon Drink be your companion on the journey to greatness. Oh, we don't have fucking outro music. Well, it says do outro music. And then, oh, and then yeah. it goes, uh, I mean, I, if they had music they sent us, I didn't see it. And then it's just like a disclaimer. Dragon Drink is an energy drink provided to provide boost of energy. Please consume responsibly and follow all day dietary guidelines drink drink does not guarantee strength or transformations but it can certainly inspire you to unleash your inner power thank you they Any paid Dagestan. did they pay you they paid me we're splitting it what'd they pay you 600, 600 bucks for three we have tanks. to do that for three episodes yeah. are you guys serious yeah i'm 100 serious it took a lot of work it was like a lot of back and forth we don't we've never even i mean should we say it? i've never so you even guys tasted are now, this stuff you guys are now well, they're, they're gonna mail it to us i know we haven't even tasted this stuff yet but they have they have it sick flavors dude they have one called Mecca Cola. It's their Coca Cola. I'm dead serious. <laughs> they have their own Mecca Coca Cola. Coca -Cola. Coca -Cola Mecca Cola. Yeah. Look up Mecca Cola. Look up really Mecca quick. Cola. It's the best. These guys rock. Mm. They're really nice. Like I like how you guys are now using the show to just make side money with Dagestani. It's, it's how it. Go to the images. I'll Be show you different. which one. Is no, that type in Mecca Cola? Go with images because they have one. Maybe Dragon. Dragon this is drink. Mecca Cola. Be different. Yeah, maybe Dragon Drink is like a conglomerate or something. I think Mecca Cola. I, 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 I thought that was one like of they their have flavors. A dragon, they have a mojito flavor that looks Out of 100 dope. people surveyed in Pakistan, France, United Arab, Arab Emirates, Malaysia, or Senegal. Mecca Cola. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, they, Anyways. Cool. 
So they're going to send us uh, ener- uh, Dragon Drink energy. I'm really looking forward to Mecca Cola. I'm looking forward to trying the mojito flavor. For some reason, their mojitos have strawberries and then them. All right. Or something. Whatever. Well, Let's next go. week, we'll do it <laughs> with not, the drink. We'll, let's not open the show with an ad. Well, I mean, we... I thought that was like a gag. I thought you no. guys were going to have like some hilarious thing there. Well, it's kind of funny that it's... It's weird. funny that it's it's a weird ad because they wrote it weird, but also it's like, no, we're like making a quick buck. Yeah. Yeah. That's more than Sheath paid me. Fucking really? What? 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 Yeah. I don't, do you want to bad about them? I don't care. What, what, they, <laughs> what did they pay just out of curiosity? It was like 170 bucks. What? Yeah. Per app? I don't know. I don't think any of our, all of our fans live at like homeless shelters and stuff. No one's so buying. No one's buying. They all, they you know what? Have, they might buy. They don't, they don't buy. If we were selling diapers, we'd be, it would be like, <laughs> I'd, I'd be getting thousands. But you know what they might buy is Dragon Drink. Dragon uh, Drink is Dragon really cool. Dragonenergy.com, I believe. And I you could wait. have it shipped here? You could buy it on? Yeah, you could buy it online. Well, okay. the, it's a bit hard because it is part of the Russian Federation, so they have to deal with like some extra no, shit. No, they ship it out of South Africa. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. The the big wear, it's like... The, the, it's made of diamonds and, and severed <laughs> hands. Oh, amazing. Okay. But yeah, so anyways, we'll get off this, but Dragon Energy, I think they just have too <laughs> much fucking... Energy drink. They yeah. have too much money right Joey, now. Be, be serious, though. Was this because John... Was at a low point, and he was like, he really needed money, and it was he, yeah, and you, it was, so like, it was a little bit went, like John was trying to hustle, and he started hustle. hitting up Dagestani energy drink companies. Well, we also, I gotta, wait, gotta put my shit out. There did you like have that, to? Bro. Did you have to send them our numbers so they were like, okay, he's so serious? Oh yeah, podcast. fuck yeah, yeah. Fuck. I wrote a slightly exaggerated email to them about so our they, numbers. Say, I do a show called the Joe Rogan Experience. <laughs> No, I guess that we get up to, like, you know, potentially, I, I added all the Twitter and Instagram views together, and I was like, oh, well, no, we get millions of views if you add all that shit up, you know. Oh, okay. All right. Dragon drink, folks. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most bizarre <laughs> intro to our podcast ever. I Even I had no clue what was going on. Um, all right. So, uh, you guys noticed what's going on with the uh, flights lately this week? Oh, the lizard lady! A bunch of people are seeing seeing things in the sky. They're 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 on flights, and they keep they think the guy next to them is is like a shapeshifter. Huh? I saw that one lady. I didn't know there was more. I didn't see the any of the videos. Well, let's watch them. the lady. So this is the lady, and they uh, apparently Carrot Top was on this flight too. Hell yeah! <laughs> she probably just saw Carrot Top. <laughs> 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 hey, Lizard lady. So I'm telling you, I'm getting the. F- and there's a reason why I'm getting the f- off and everyone can either believe it or they cannot believe it. Uh. I don't give two f- but I am telling you right now, that mother f- that mother f- back there is not real. <laughs> they all look. And you can, <laughs> all look. Plane and you can f- die with them or not. That's I'm the not prop comic. Uh. They go, lady, huh. it's carrot top. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love this little. She gets like a little, like, uh, like she like gyrates right here, like she's like, it's like a really cool. Here, watch this. Mother, f- that, that mother, mother back there is not, not real. real. And you can. I love how everyone looks too. It's great, but like everyone was, uh, people took this and they they put they showed a image of a guy in a green hoodie that he had like kind of weird alien like eyes. What the the internet ran with it, and then that turned out to be fake. But then Carrot Top talked about it. Oh, and where's Carrot Top? Where is he? <laughs> there's there's Carrot Top. Oh my god! I mean, yeah, holy that, shit! Yeah, that's who she oh saw. Look at look at look at him! <laughs> what a fucking it's insane! Retard. All right, hi everybody. Welcome back to a day in hell of flying. So uh, we were on the airplane from Dallas to take off to Orlando, and some woman lost her marbles. I mean, literally was like screaming at the top of her lungs, like "fuck this, fuck this, you guys are doomed. Get me off this fucking plane." So um, she's like, "The live entertainment in Vegas sucks." <laughs> she's saying weird things. <laughs> We're off the plane. She got her wish. We're all uh, we're deplaned on off the plane, and now we're waiting in the lobby. The whole entire uh, flight is waiting in the lobby because they're gonna have to sweep the plane to check to see if there's anything. I don't know. They're sweeping in the. I don't know if they've sent the bomb unit in, or they look like housekeepers. Are you even allowed to say bomb in the terminal of an airport? Yeah, you know. If you're I thought that was top. like a big no-no. That was like a meet the flockers. Hey, it wouldn't be the first time Kara talk has said bomb. <laughs> Very good. Right, yes. folks? Am I right? Anyway, go. dragon energy, folks. <laughs> Went on, so they're gonna they're gonna send the housekeepers on the plane and just sweep up and make sure there's no pretzels, debris, and then we can take off to Orlando. But uh, 
Can you believe that? Of course he's going to Orlando. Orlando I feel like Carrot Top, the only places he's ever been are Vegas and Orlando. <laughs> Some, something about him. It's like only Orla he can only thrive in Orlando. God. Uh, but yeah, so then there was another crazy fuck on a flight. These these people on flights lately, they're acting like the orcas in the in in the ocean lately. Mm. I don't know if you guys have been, but you know, I pay more attention to this because I gotta I gotta find nonsense clips all week so we could uh, shit on everything. But the last month, it's been nonstop sea animals like fucking with boats, orcas. Yeah. I, or every day. It's a new orca. Have you seen the seals are washing up on the beach? Oh, yeah. It's crazy. The orcas, though, are fucking out of this. They're out of their minds lately. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. They all, like, they, they all, like, told. It's like Planet of the Apes. I like, they sense. all told each other, like, we're fighting back. I've seen there was uh, two orcas. They swam by these kids in Australia, and the people were like, get out of there. Get out of That's there. That's terrifying. Luckily, they didn't do anything because orcas have morals. Yeah. But they're fucking with a lot of boats. Jesus. And now I think they've invaded the consciousness of dr of drunk retards on flights too. Mm -hmm. These people are they keep people keep trying to open doors on flights, which is very scary. I'm I'm getting on a flight next week. It's mid mid fly. They got this guy gets tackled. He's like, "Get me out of here!" Oh my god! I heard it was impossible about, to actually open it. I heard it's impossible. If that gives you any comfort, but let's watch okay. this. Wow, it's pressurized. Yeah. yeah. But I, you're not even supposed to. I don't like any skirmish. No, neither do I. I Mid-air mid skirmishes, you know, yeah. like, I, I mean, there was that famous WWF uh, flight where it was like the flight from hell where yeah. uh, Rick, uh, the fucking, the Bro woo Brock Lesnar, like, tackled somebody on a plane. Yeah, on a plane, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, what? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> everyone got hammered and was doing drugs, and there was women, and then they got in a big fight, and then like Ric Flair and Brock Lesnar and everybody was there. And then they started like wrestling, and the plane is like you could, you know, you could. I think it was Kurt. I think it was Kurt Angle versus Brock Lesnar, and the plane dropped when Brock Lesnar tackled him. There was like turbulence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it made it. It, it, it was very scary because yeah. you know, there's giant men wrestling love to be in the plane. sky. Yeah, so. it was a private jet where everybody, every single person on the plane was a uh, steroid a juice oh, monkey phenomenal. wrestler. So yeah, yeah, man, mm. imagine being on a flight with Chris Benoit. <laughs> 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 flex. So this guy, he's a British dude. So you can't really understand anything he says because he's like, you know, he's he loses a, a tooth a day. But <laughs> oh, hey. oh, oh, let's go. Hey, Oh, look at everyone filming, man. Look at this. Whoa. <laughs> he goes, you're a shape-shifting lizard. What, seriously? No, I'm kidding, oh, but that's Jesus. like, this I is the new understand. trend. This is what you, you wanted, John. You did this with your obsession with UFOs and aliens yeah, lately. It's everyone, everyone is, is hysteric now. You've uh, poisoned the good. well. Because of these good. fucking whistleblowers, by the good. way. I'm sick of these whistleblowers. Yes. I gotta say, I'm a little sick of whistleblowers. They're, they're they're just they're they're out for a buck. They're out for fame. You know, you took a job. You signed a contract. Mm. No, no more blowing the whistle. You fucking do what they tell you to do. You knew what you were getting into. You knew what you're getting into. No more. Every everyone thinks it's hip and trendy to blow the whistle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Join Everyone's Assange. blowing the whistle. You know, no. fuck off. Fucking just keep quiet. It's too trendy now. We had Snowden. We had who's the other one? Ass no, not Assange, but Snowden's the only Assange. And, wait, Assange was a whistleblower. Yeah, sure. Yeah. The MJ Kobe of whistleblowers. <laughs> Enough of these Lebrons trying to nip at the heels. Mm. Okay, and there's a new whistleblower every fucking day. You took a job. <laughs> you signed a contract. I don't care if you uh, if you guys are poisoning the water in the country. <laughs> don't tell. You don't get to say. Also, you took, if you you signed a contract. No. Yeah. You I know, agree. right? Yeah. And if you blow the whistle, it better be fucking good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like um, Snowden had really good shit. He was like, hey, this is proof, definitive proof that we're all being spied on. And then everybody accepted it. He went to the Guardian. They confirmed it. Perfect release. Everybody else is kind of just like, hey, here, I'm blowing the whistle. I fucking, I saw something fishy on a radar no, once. It's, it's every yeah. day now. It's a new guy trying to get famous being a whistleblower. It's like, they, oh, the head of, the head of uh, Bud Light, uh, you know, he came out. He said, we're watering down the beer. <laughs> it's we, like, it's we actually put a lot of water in the beer. It's, it's not like that much alcohol. It's the Columbine effect where, like, uh, those Columbine kids look so badass doing uh, that shooting that they caused all these other shooters to spawn off them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And then Snowden came out, and they're like making movies about him, and he's fucking strippers, yep. and he's the king of Russia. <laughs> and now they're like, they're all like, oh, dude, if I fuck exactly. my life, I sit at this desk and I have access to these documents. If I do that, I could be doing this. I could be fucking strippers. You can't trust anyone in this country. Everyone wants the fame. So these whistleblowers yeah. are just out for fame. I'm I sick agree. of it. I've I really, I've really want, had it. Every day pussy. somebody tells me, no, there's a whistleblower, and I go, well, fuck him. Fuck him. Fucking, fucking do what you were told. What has he got for us? <laughs> enough, enough, enough <laughs> of this. You were told. Okay, you took a job, and you, I don't, you don't tell anybody. I don't care if you found out that they're going to nuke America. You fucking keep that to yourself, bub. Mm. Fall in the line. Okay? You do let it duty. happen. You let it happen. Yeah. All right? Follow orders. The only whistleblower I respect is too short. Am I right, folks? Very good. Am I right? Yes, Devin. All right, back to this fucking... What's wrong? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, 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 Yeah, he's, he's, he's losing it. Yo. So... Yo. Yo. You can't rush the cabin. Who do you have to... Well, he's running back. I know, but I don't know. Is he running the back of the plane? Or the front? If somebody's running the cabin... That looks like the back of the plane, because everyone's okay. facing forward. All right. But no, they're facing towards. He was running away towards no! the front. Dude. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. you can't rush the cabin. What the fuck yeah. is happening? Look at these bitches. Unless you're Muslim, that's okay. If you're Muslim, if you're Muslim, it's part Muslim of your religion. everyone's like, I don't want to be called a racist. Let him rush yeah. the cabin. Yeah. He's got. He wants to see the cockpit. It's the yeah. He wants a goddamn tour. <laughs> that's what they wanted on flight. Give 93. me a tour of that cockpit. <laughs> that's what I would say if I was arrested for terrorism. I'd be like, I just thought I was. I wanted a tour. Well, yeah. What they're like? Why? Why do you have a box cutter? Mm-hmm. Why do you? Why do you have a box cutter? You I'd, I'd go. I work at uh, the UPS. Why were you swinging it <laughs> around? Why were you swinging? Why were you yelling? Uh, you're to kill the pilot. I'd go, uh, it's sick. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking cool. Look at that. I, I would, and then I would show the people like that, that are inter- interrogating me. I go, look at this. I go, <laughs> like, I get yeah. the hell out. You're right. I go, isn't that Super sick? Sharp. And that then they'd, sick. they'd go, all right, get out. Department of Homeland Security be like, get out of here. Go, Open that box and then get, get the out, hell he was, out of here. He's a rap scallion. They go, get the <laughs> hell out of here. <laughs> Um. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. I just there's a it's a, it's a weird thing going on lately, folks. The orcas and drunk people on planes keep seeing aliens, hmm. and the orcas are attacking. And then you What's told the- me that you think aliens are in the water. You and Ida both think. Oh, the yeah, aliens they're in the water. What? Can you tell me right. about? I'm so sick What's of aliens. So I want to hear about orcas though. What yeah, you- I want to see orca videos, low key. You want orcas? I want orcas. <laughs> have you seen the? Have you seen the video? You an orca? <laughs> Dude, they hunt shit by like swimming underneath it and then flipping it over. Yeah, I know they can that. Flip over icebergs and shit. No, I want to know about the current orca stuff. They're communicating. Oh, they're fucking no browns on this one. Well, this is this. I mean, this is a new one. Oh my god! Holy shit! Those orcas are after. This is a new video. Oh, they want blood, bro. This isn't the one I was even talking about. They keep trying to fuck up the t- the. Look at that fucking the udders. Oh my fucking god, dude! What are they if called? I saw the udders. That thing? What is it called on the back of a boat? The it's udder? It's the uh, propeller, my the friend. Propeller, the propeller. I don't think the... I think the propellers would fuck them up. The rudder is what... Oh, the rudder. The, the rudder. rudder, yeah. No, no, they can fucking hit it with their head. They'll take the beating. Oh, yeah. That, the no, fucking propeller's sure. not going to kill an orca. I think propellers orca. kill orcas. This is no. payback for not on, a, not on a boat that small. Yeah, yeah. Look at those fucking piece. Oh, my God. What an absolute unit, mate. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> What a heckin' good orcarino. <laughs> I, you know, it's like, it's crazy to think they're just giant dolphins. Uh, killer dolphins. Yeah. Everyone tells us that actually, like, dolphins, it's like air bud, like, you yeah, know. Dolphins are like, scary. Like, dolf, dolphin, will dolphins kill you? They rape you. No, they rape dolphins. I'm pretty sure that, <laughs> I, I, I'm almost positive. I don't so think, I don't think dolphin, dolphins dude. are in, like, fucking, I don't think dolphins are, you know, uh, they, they're not bashing your head into a fucking pinball machine. <laughs> they're not <laughs> the local bar. You know, parking garage. Yeah, okay, I don't think dolphins <laughs> are in, <laughs> I don't think a dolphin started Thelma and Louise's uh, run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost positive dolphins just sexually assaulted people. And they, maybe they like rub their boner against the person. But yeah, what do you call if I rub my boner against you? You think they I don't was a have sexual assault. boners? Dolphins they have don't. huge dolphins pink have cocks, boners. Dude. They but have you're, terrifying. You were acting cocks. like they rape oh, men, enough. like they fuck <laughs> men in the ass. <laughs> Look at these orcas. Cool, though, Look at orcas. Mm. Orcas attack. Let's type in orcas attacking boats. I bet it's like all last week. Boats 2023. Look at that. That comes wow. up. 2023. Let's see. Group of orcas attack and sink vessels off 
Iberian, Iberian Peninsula. Peninsula. Where's Iberia? Spain. God, they make a new place every day in this goddamn <laughs> world. Iberia now. Mm-hmm. Why would happen to Siberia? I'm almost positive. <laughs> what about <laughs> Yes? What the hell happened to Liberia? <laughs> right, folks? God, Iberia now. God, yeah, all they do is erase letters and they start a new place. <laughs> Have a little creativity, would yeah. you? <laughs> yeah, for Christ's sakes, make a new word. My new favorite bit of all time. <laughs> the worst, the worst comic ever. <laughs> Basically, just dorky dad. He goes, That's that, my the guy. Iberia comic. The, the, the Iberia guy. <laughs> he comes out there. He goes, folks, have anyone heard of Iberia? <laughs> <laughs> it's like our old video where he goes, Rav four. What about one, two, and three? <laughs> <laughs> Orcas is causing a lot of damage to boats off the Iberian Peninsula, raising questions about why the orcas are doing it. Stephanie Sai. Wait, wait, wait. Where's Iberia it? again? What'd you say? Off the coast of Spain. Really? The Iberian Peninsula, yeah. Interesting. It's 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 crazy that we're talking about these orcas the way they talked about the bugs in Starship Troopers. They're like, why are they doing this? Yeah, these, like these a, visitors well, but, have come. Uh, and they're, <laughs> but why now? I don't know. The dude. government starts going, hey, there's UFOs. And all of a sudden, orcas are like, get us the fuck out of here. <laughs> orcas like want to be taken in. Orcas like, like want to go to SeaWorld now because they want to be away from the fu- from Yakub down there. They m- <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, Yakub. <laughs> the, yeah, the great alien. Apparently, there's <laughs> aliens in the ocean. The government's uh, wi- blowing the whistle as they do. Oh God, I'm so glad we had a big Yakub night, and it's like one of my biggest. Like, I'm so happy you know about Yakub. Oh, I've been talking about Yakub all over this goddamn country, pal. <laughs> and has this report. In the middle of the night last October, Artur Napoleão was sailing miles off the coast of Portugal to deliver a boat to a client. As a professional skipper and sail instructor, it's a journey he's taken Damn, he many times cool. before. At 4 o'clock a.m., it was my, my turn to go sleep. So I went down, I started taking my nap, and 30 minutes later, boom. He ran up to the deck to find the boat surrounded oh, wow. by a pod of orcas. They mess around for five minutes, and then... They went to another boat. They mess around. More far away from me. Like they were horsing around. <laughs> they teepeed my boat. <laughs> but the pod returned. Not once, but three times. The visits spanning over several hours. Here's the thing well- about orcas. Mm-hmm. I know they're like, they call the, you know, they're called killer whales. Yeah. They look fucking adorable to me, bub. Hey, those things are cute. I would jump right in there with Hey, them. by the way, who named uh, the grizzly bear? Huh? Exactly. That's a goddamn cute uh, grizzly. What the hell? What's so grizzly about that What's cute? What's so grizzly about that bear? <laughs> I'm going to throw it some Charmin. We can both wipe our asses together. Drink a Coca-Cola with that beauty, the huh? Hell? <laughs> Killer whale? More like a fucking adorable whale on my on my soda cup what? at the theme what? park. <laughs> 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 I, I really like I see them and I go they're fuck they're just it, they're imprinted in my brain as Shamu. Yeah. So they're, they're like adorable. Yeah, you yeah, the plushie of them are growing and up. Even and... when they're like trying to fuck with these these ships uh rudders. Mhm. I'm like, but it's fucking, they're so, they look like they were made by us. Like, they look like they were designed yeah. by Nike. They have the fake big <laughs> they eyes. Do, yeah, they look like, like, they look like a Jordan brand whale. <laughs> they're the most beautiful, I think, animal. It literally looks yeah. like, like, designers at Nike were like, make the eyes white. No, black body. <laughs> Stamp a fucking, fucking Jumpman logo on the, on the <laughs> side of it. They look so cool and trendy. I can't ever imagine one of them hurting anybody. I think these guys were doing something to fucking egg them on. I think, yeah. I bet they were doing something weird. Yeah, I, they were fucking... Well, orcas are racist against humans. Yeah. Well, I meant the humans were doing something weird. I don't know, man. All these humans are just fucking riding their boats, and these orcas yeah, come but up are and they bumping over, into them. Are they overfishing, and now the orcas are hungry because they don't have food, so they have to go after the boats? I know that I know that sperm whales used to like attack boats after a while. After whaling was getting crazy, sperm whales started like fighting. Yeah, that. yeah. Well, they so all like, send. I mean, Ben is like all Ben's been obsessed with these things, and I guess that's why they're on my mind. But I, but it's also not. I just keep seeing videos of them. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be obsessed with whales. I'm sick of them. I don't really care about anything besides yeah. human, but they're fucking, they're everywhere. Every day, every every week for the last month and a half. New whale. 
New whale. New whale just yeah. dropped. <laughs> Let me see this whale. I just want to see. After sunrise. I got really scared. Until I realized, until I see the orcas and see their movements. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If I'm judging on a, on a purely shallow level, okay. I look at a guy like this. I look at an orca. Yeah. I go, orcas look better. Who am I siding yeah. with? I go, I side with the orca. Like, I don't get, like, listen, take humanity out of it. Take, take having empathy, a soul, if you will. Mm -hmm. I go, just shallow level. I go, if I don't, I, I, I want to see the orca interviewed that killed him. Because mm -hmm. one of you is an ancient fish beast that yeah. can yeah. that can you know jump out of the water and yes. swim at 80 miles per hour the other one of you has a crinkled up white polo shirt yes, on. Yeah, exactly and then there's another one of you it's like there's a beautiful orca mm. and then you got this guy and i'm supposed to i'm supposed to be like yeah it attacked this guy and then this guy got to kill it no fuck this guy no fuck him fuck him, mm -hmm. fuck him. and uh how gentle they were when I stopped the boat. In the past three years. See, they, I've, I've yet to see an attack. Everyone says they're killer whales. I've never seen them. Well, they like kill it. the sea world. Well, that's guys. what I'm waiting to see on this. But We're, that was like revenge. Yeah, like they, they have to have killed someone in the wild. Humans, humans love revenge. Why do we get upset by that? That's like the perfect story. Also, yeah. that doesn't even count. It's like if you're playing with a dangerous animal and you die in the process, yeah. it's not the same thing as being attacked while you're I'll minding your own place. business. Yeah. Boat and orca interactions look at those have been reported fucking off the beautiful creatures. Portugal, Spain, we should we should capture them and According make them depressed Spanish and make them do, do jump through hoops <laughs> <laughs> in San Diego. In 2022, there were 207 reported God, look at those beautiful things. The Strait of Gibraltar. They should be in the San Diego. Is a narrow waterway that separates Spain and Morocco, and the meetings are not Where's the splash gentle, zone on that map? Managing to remove the rudder with sea water. Yeah, they fucked the rudder up. The all right, let's go to another one, because this is all over. 2023 is the year of the orca. Okay, dramatic video. This is two weeks ago. Oh, no, this is the same Hi, thing. my name is Elise Fox. Model, Shut up, mom. bitch. Fucking kill you. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> kidding, video YouTube. Killer whale seen attacking. Video. What happened to your premium? Uh, no, I just forgot to sign out of the old account or whatever. Uh, three boats sunk after apparent coordinated orca attacks. They're coordinated. It's like yeah, they're teaching other orcas. It's literally Ocean's Eleven. Damn, okay. this fucking orca, in 1958, was harpooned off the coast of Long Island. The harpoon got like cut free of the orca, and then the orca chased the boat, trying to fucking bring it down. Yeah, because it was probably trying to kill it. It was like that pissed off Hemingway. Was That's like, what animal does that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was doing. It was like, shut up. Enough of your books about riding around in an Italian ambulance, you fucking depressed retard. Why don't you blow your head off? Uh, yeah, a lot of these are revenge. Damn, this is badass. No, they're rev they're rev uh, orcas would yeah. be in B movies now. Like they would be like in a Mel Gibson movie where he like kills like a bunch of people because they killed his family. Yeah. In 1962, <laughs> off Bellingham, a male orca attacked a boat towing a female orca with a rope that had been live captured for an oceanarium. So that they, they, they captured a female orca. It was giving out cries of distress, and the male orca fucking followed the boat and tried to uh, take the boat down. This like cool. any man orcas would do. Like the, yeah, this is the coolest animal of all orcas time. Orcas are like characters in that in like that movie with Russell Crowe where he gets cut off in traffic and he just decides to kill everybody in the whole city. <laughs> 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 They're really fat. Yeah. This <laughs> was replaced with CGI with an orca. Listen to this, John. Three or uh, orca. These are coordinated attacks by these animals. Literal animals. Mm. The killer whales that appear to be targeting boats in Europe, attacking them, and even managing to sink three. Yeah. Our foreign correspondent, Damn. James Longman. Has Damn, look at that fucking foreign correspondent. Be behind it. Michael Good Strahan morning, should rent his teeth out to SeaWorld so an orca <laughs> can jump through his gap. <laughs> an orca passes through his front <laughs> teeth. <laughs> an orca's going to pass yeah, through my front tooth. Michael, well, we call them killer whales, even though for the most part they're pretty harmless. But there have now been a series of orca attacks on boats in European waters. And they seem to be learning this aggressive behavior from one whale in particular. And her name is Gladys. How do they know this? It's like Gladys this Knight and the Pips. The destructive behavior of one of the ocean's largest apex predators, orca whales. Damn. Properly known as killer whales, have scientists and sailors on high alert. Banging on our 
Hell yeah. Hell yeah. They may just be playing with us, but for sure they're going to damage the boat. That sound. They don't fuck around. Yeah, they're not yeah, fucking around. They're like, uh, what's that movie with, um, who's the retard, the big buff retard that's a wrestler that's like a pretty decent actor? John Cena. No, no, the other guy. The Rock. Rock? Nope. New uh, guy. Batista. Batista. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in that M. Night Shyamalan movie where he like shows up to the a cabin. house in the woods and he's like, hey, we're doomsdayers and we're going to kill you. Orcas are just, they're fucking doomsdayers. Mm-hmm. They're about to build uh, kill those. Here's what's going on with orcas, folks. They're fucking, they're Paul Schrader characters. <laughs> or Every orca right now is li- is living out First Reformed. Yeah. They know something we don't. They're building little sea bombs There's and they're going to mail them out. I was at church the other day and orca walked in with a, with a, with a, <laughs> with a crown of thorns above its head <laughs> and it blew itself up. Orca's chugging Drano. <laughs> <laughs> it said, I don't want to bring a kid into this world. He goes, what are we going to do? Global warming, you know, war. I, t- I, I told that orca, I go, you got the right idea. I get it. Anyway. First reform. First of all, great movie. Starting in 2020, a series of increasingly aggressive encounters off the Iberian coast has left scores of boats damaged. Three of them sunk to the ocean floor. You're looking at the last moments this Swiss luxury sailboat. Whoa, saw the that's surface. a big fucking boat. Month, yeah, yeah. The vessel was battered by a pod of killer whales in the Strait of Gibraltar. Triangle of Sadness should have had some orcas in it. You guys see that movie? I Is saw that it the with new you. one. Did, we saw it together. That's right, we saw it together. Yeah. The ship taking on heavy water. The crew called for help and abandoned ship. Marine scientists in Spain studying the phenomenon and now suggesting it could be a response to trauma, a kind of killer whale revenge for pain suffered from a collision with a boat. Scientists in Spain say they don't like the orcas because they're partially uh, black. We are <laughs> more in one of our hypotheses, that is that one orca suffered a, a traumatic event and a, a, a female orca and, and she only wanted to stop this boat and right now, uh, this behavior is is spreading. Researchers have named that female. It's funny when somebody can't speak perfect English, and so you just go, "Stop trying to be cute." <laughs> <laughs> what are you flirting with I me? Go, are you flirting? And they go, "No, I just cannot uh, speak. I have a uh, language a barrier." I go, "Oh my god, you're a whore." You trying to make me horny, bitch? I go, what are you trying to get me on? <laughs> they go, "No, I just I have a trouble with the language of your." I go, oh my god, enough of you. Let me come on your face. <laughs> Why are you on the phone? I'm looking the whole up orca What are you attacks? doing? We have I'm looking orca up orca I have These a computer crazy. here. These are insane. So you're just reading independently yeah. while we do a show, <laughs> you dumb fuck? I can bring it up. I don't know. There's crazy orca You can bring it up. You're trying, to, you're trying to get It's exciting. Info. Let Kevin find the orca. Go find the orca We're looking attack. at a video right now. Well, this, there's way cooler ones that happened in like 1958. Devin has good orca shit right now. Well, unfortunately, we don't have I Love Lucy footage of orcas. <laughs> okay? Gladys Sorry, Blanca. guys. Jesus. Fellow whales trying to, unbelievable. Trying to He's be, a rookie. Trying to learn. He you know. doesn't understand podcasts. Trying to learn, you know. Hey, listen, go, go. No, I'm, I'm, I'm putting it away. I was doing the orcas. Right. I'm into orca attacks now. Aggressive behavior. I'm an orca guy. The critically endangered regional subpopulation numbers fewer than 40 whales, but they pose a significant danger to ocean I mean, this is such a big deal. It's on. A, it was on ABC three weeks ago, apparently. We, I didn't even know this. This is, I didn't even, when I, you know, I brought, I bring up everything like it's a fact and it's yeah. happening. I had no clue I was right about orcas uh, taking over You just had a hunch. I had a hunch. Yeah. Had a bit of a hunch. We type it in three weeks ago. Wow. Fucking, fucking unbelievable. Barbara Wild Walters stuff. is interviewing an orca right now. <laughs> and he's got a fucking <laughs> turban on. Get your news <laughs> here, folks. Now right here at the Hay Watch Pod. This month. He was forced to hold out for over an hour as the whales targeted his boat. Hold out. The noises that were making the build the boat twisting. The power that these creatures possess is just yeah, yeah, yeah. It's incredible. Shut right. Of course. This older orca and calf. They're bigger than you. Yeah. They have the more power than you. The rudder. The boat limping back to port with the heavy duty hull chains completely snapped. Some dumb Damn. fucking Damn. human. See an element That's the last time you buy chains from Japan. Definitely. <laughs> Um, which what is a skipper? I just thought that was like a fun name to call people. I didn't know. Isn't it, was it a the thing. second guy under the captain? What does that skipper? mean? Skipper. He just goes, "There's an iceberg ahead, sir." And <laughs> what is what does a skipper do? I think John might be right. I think it's like yeah. a rank under a captain. Yeah, right. 
I think. So it's like the captain's secretary. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's like the first man or whatever, you know, where they have to're in charge of like, hey, I'm doing all the real captain shit, but you got to run around and make sure that like nobody's fucking up crazily. I think. All right, yeah. Okay. A little too. I don't I never imagine a guy this big to be a skipper. <laughs> Oh, they're supposed to be a little gay. You're thinking like, cabin There's supposed to be little twinks. Yeah. You want him to be a twink. You want to be a cat. You I don't like every- how big he is. <laughs> Everyone underneath the captain should just get smaller you can and tell smaller he's, and he's smaller. A, he's, and he, smaller. He, you can tell he's upset by the strength of the orcas, too. Yeah. He's like, you see one of these things, you just want to hit Gold's gym, you know? You want to take it down, you know? <laughs> this is insane. It's quite unnerving as a sailor to see the next generation now is learning. Yeah, so stop going it's out there. Continue we can stop eating tuna. It's okay. Of- they what happened to, to sailors, dude? This sailors guy's a massive now pussy. Monitoring whale activity before they set sail in order to avoid these inca- All right, new orca video. I didn't know we were going to do an orca centric episode, but I'm into it. Mm. Okay, this is seven years ago, but they, they, this guy, this orca, probably died, and then told all the rest of the orcas, "You fucking fight for me." <laughs> he had, probably had a movie moment. The orcas are a braveheart speech, yeah. yeah. And all the other orcas crowded around, and he goes, he goes. Get those motherfuckers. <laughs> and they, they've they been fighting back for years. And the 2023, yeah. He, <laughs> the orca probably said, the orca was dying. It was like, you better cry, macho. <laughs> you be macho. You better get those fucking round eyes. <laughs> the orca's call those round eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, orcas are... Orcas seem Asian. They seem Japanese or they're something. Yeah, they're Japanese. for sure Asian. Yeah. yeah. Mongolian or something. They're like sure. big and tough. Yeah. You know orcas like kill themselves if they fail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that fucking thing. That thing's so fucking big. Jesus fuck. Shocking two fishermen off the coast of San oh, Diego. God. They saw animals in the distance. I was in a boat that was chased by a pack of orcas. San and I was fucking Diego. salmon fishing one time. It was crazy. San Diego. Right, and I didn't know orcas were in San Diego. They're everywhere. They're in every ocean. Hell yeah, they're like sick. global fish. I thought they were only in San Diego when they were we captured them. and oh, took, them to, took them to Sea World. <laughs> I didn't know they were just in San Diego. That's awesome. I was, I was. Which, in by a... the way, San Diego means a whale's vagina. <laughs> Am I right? Yes. Yes. What if I? What if I? What if I start? What if I find out I have like a brain worm? And I'm I slowly am dying throughout like the yeah. episodes of this show, and I turn into one of those guys that can only quote like Anchorman. We take you to the like, doctor, and he's like, "What? What, what are the symptoms?" And they're like, "Well, he's a hack. He keeps doing Anchorman." They go, "What are the symptoms?" He goes, "He's a bit of a hack. He used to be like, really funny." I, I go like, it's "Wolf Pack." I keep doing like Hangover <laughs> quotes, and I'm like, "I have many leather bound books in my in my that smell of rich mahogany." <laughs> you guys, you guys are like, we think he's dying. And, just, and then the doctor goes, "Yeah, he actually. You guys are right. What what did, what were the symptoms?" He goes, "He was just a bit, bit of a hack. He was quoting a lot of movies from the mid two thousands. The movies get worse and worse as you degrade. So the final step is like Borat. You're yeah. just sitting there. I'm like, I'm just, it's like my final night in the hospital. You guys visit me, and I'm just like, you guys are like Devin. We love you. It's like we 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 will always love you. It's okay. And I go, my wife. <laughs> and you, and then you look at the doctor. You go, you could just unplug. Them. Just uh, just uh, just pull the plug. Just smothering you. Enough the pillow. of this. Just one of those. Uh, ever. I mean, we all knew. Tons of people whose whole personality was like Wedding Crashers, Hangover, Anchorman, Borat. Step I still Step have brothers. a lot of brothers. Step brothers. Yeah. I have a lot of friends still who that's mm-hmm. like, you know. Yeah. Will Ferrell was like a cheat code to being like somewhat humorous in high school. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, he was. He was. Yeah. He just, it's fun to quote movies and stuff, but with, yeah. like when you get to know somebody, it's like, oh, that's the only thing that they do. It gets a bit old. It gets mm. a bit old. Yeah, it gets a bit old. The guys didn't realize it was actually killer whales chasing their boat, seen in this video by Viral Hog. That, that other. Right under us, still. Right there. They write that there was okay, a pod okay. of 30 Topo. orcas swimming and following their boat, oh. and they were jumping in the boat's wake, some even getting a little too close for comfort. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. There was even stunning video of the whales under the water swimming alongside their boat. Thank you. 
All right. Oh, what is that? Red? Yeah, they put a red filter to make it scary. Oh, well, that's annoying. Mm. You bought that? You're like, oh, that's real. I thought it was all blood. You gotta kill. Who yeah, you kill? it's like, and it's like real well, life, like James they're, Bond. They're not allowed to do that. They just make. They just put a filter on it. Like they're fucking trying to like fucking shit on Joe Rogan with COVID. Remember what they did to George Zimmerman? They made him look whiter. They're making the killer whales look more. Did dangerous. they? Did yeah. George, what did George Zimmerman look like? He was like a Latino guy, and they made him look white when they took those. All the news stations made him look white when he. Yeah, I didn't Trayvon like how Martin. everyone was like George Zimmerman represents white supremacy. I'm like, yeah. That's a fucking Mexican guy. Yeah, but he did have a white ass last name. He had like a very white last Zimmerman. name. Zimmerman. Yeah. What is he? That's up a Jewish to? last name. What is Zimmerman up to? He actually uh, is he a scumbag. Works for, he probably works for Mint Mobile. He he auctioned off the gun <laughs> he killed that kid with. <laughs> He, uh, what, he, he auctioned, auctioned off the gun, the gun off? he killed Trayvon Martin with, and then I think eBay removed it from the auction. Who and then the fuck? Like, who, who bought that gun? Robert E. Lee? <laughs> 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 that was, uh, he, uh, he, Richard Spencer bought it. He, he, hung, it up, he hung it up like a moose head. <laughs> he's got to be. He's got to be out there doing something. You know what I mean? I, bet, I think he's in. Isn't he in jail? Didn't no, he like? He hit, didn't off. he beat his wife or some shit? Maybe. Might get look it up. But I think what he does now to make a living, in my guess, is that he goes to like gun shows and he rents a booth and he just like signs autographs. That's Races, insane. No, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Oh, okay. That would be insane. But but like so did. yeah, like they somebody pays him to sit at their booth at a gun uh, at a gun show or something. That dude. Dude is fucking Latino. He bro. sued their family. He sued the Trayvon Martin family for a hundred million dollars. Why did he sue them? Because he won the case, and he's like, it was all bullshit. Several, and, like, everybody's like, you damaged my reputation. Yeah, he can't get a job anymore. Hmm. No way, he won. If I saw him walking down the street, I wouldn't know who he was. There's nothing really. Re Where is George Zimmerman now? All right, let's, let's watch this. Not guilty. In the 10 years since George Zimmerman shot and killed Trayvon Martin, guy. he's remained Look at him. God. in controversy. He looks like he killed Trayvon for the Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> after Look at that white July guy, dude. Acquittal, Look at that white man. Wife, man, what a big case. This was the craziest thing fucking ever. Who is the oh, chick? Oh, insane. Is that his wife? That's his fucking fat wife. You had filed for divorce. Called 911 to report Why is the audio Zimmerman so, like, in one ear? Father and yeah. threatened her with a gun. He's just threatening all of us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's going to shoot us. He's like, I did it once. I could do it again. He couldn't find enough evidence to press charges. Two months he's later, like me. Zimmerman was I hang outside of liquor stores looking for black kids buying candy. <laughs> <laughs> no bigger threat to society than a black kid that's all hopped up on Mike Sykes. <laughs> 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 After his girlfriend, Samantha Scheib, said he pointed at... How did you get... She's a racist lady. Yeah, yeah, she's a yeah. racist. He's yeah. Zimmerman, dude. Broke my glass table. You just broke my sunglasses and you put your gun in my Damn, hand. he can't stop putting guns in... He wind. just broke my Oakleys. <laughs> <laughs> and he used my Billabong shirt to wipe up the blood. <laughs> he, he's ruined everything I own. <sighs> and told me to get the... Scheib later recanted her story, and the case against Zimmerman Damn. was dropped. In late 2013, Zimmerman started selling his own art. Oh, wow. One painting of an wow, that's great art, Zim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Was criticized for being a Dude, he sold it for MS Paint. Thanks, a Zim. Painting of Prosecutor Angela Corey ran oh, I thought it was oh Kamala God. Harris. <laughs> the Associated Press said it imitated a copyrighted photo. Oh, my God. In early 2015, that's hilarious. Zimmerman was again charged with domestic assault after allegedly throwing a wine bottle. Oh, Amber Heard. Once again, no charges were filed because the alleged victim recanted her story. In the three years after his dude's trial, kind of fucking invincible. So he basically yeah. just like turned into like Jake LaMotta after the <laughs> after the trial, and then but he got he gets off with everything. Yeah. He's amazing. He's like John Gotti. What does he do in court? <laughs> like what does he what does he do? He just gives he's the like, Teflon done. It doesn't even go to court. There, Teflon story. He just has great eyes. Yeah, yeah, he's really beautiful. You can get away with anything <laughs> if you're beautiful, like George Zimmerman. <laughs> 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 what a sexy beast. Todd so is like you're a monster, Zimmerman, but he is so goddamn. But God beautiful. damn it, meet me in the parking lot. <laughs> fucking George Zimmerman in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> imagine George Zimmerman does. Imagine, he fucks the imagine him banging. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's like, put the gun to my head. 
Zimmerman was under investigation <laughs> by the Department of Justice. She goes, and I would know. I fucked him. <laughs> I got the chance to suck him dry. In 2015, that agency found that the evidence did not meet the high standard for a federal hate crime. Also in 2015, Zimmerman would make headlines again when Matthew Apperson fired a gunshot at him during a road race. Whoa. What, dude, what, what is the fuck? This guy lives like he's in, like he's Doc Holliday. He kicks it. Uh, I, I can't say George Zimmerman kicks ass. How many fucking gunfights has he been? Like, <laughs> he's always got a gun. What is going on with people in Florida? They die and they go. They 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 die like Jesse James. They go. Oh, yeah, I had a bunch of gunfights. I was at a Pluckers and had to shoot a guy once. The guy shot at me, and then I got off. And then ten years later, another gunfight. Wait, George Zimmerman fired at this guy. Another this guy, guy shot at him. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, you know. During Apperson's trial, look at him. Zimmerman he looks like he eats bullets. Asked about the Black Lives Matter movement, and his response sparked controversy. I don't believe Black Lives Matter is a movement, sir. They're terrorist cowards. <laughs> of attempted second no, they're a real estate group, George. Get it right. Murder, but just recently bonded out of jail after being granted a new trial. In May of 2016, there we go. sparked fury. He sold his he gun. He listed the gun he used to shoot Trayvon Martin on an auction website. It eventually sold for close to one hundred forty thousand. Jesus yeah. Christ, dude! Are you kidding me? He made a hundred and forty grand off a murder weapon for a national case. Yeah, there's a, a lot, lot of, of rich kid. hillbillies. Damn, dude, dude, we gotta find out the we we gotta that we, shouldn't be that hard. We gotta go on a hunt and we gotta find the guy who has that hanging in his living room. That shouldn't be that hard. There's not many. I don't think there's a lot of people out there that could just drop a hundred. Do you think so? Hundred forty thousand on something like that yeah, that are also dude. Republican, racist. super yes. deep NRA dudes that are yeah. like uh, very we? in favor of the First Amendment. There's a lot of people out there that have that money to easily. Yeah, drop yeah. No, I, I know they have that money. Or Second Amendment. Well, maybe they went public and said, "I own it now." I don't know what happened, but yeah, now there are a lot of rich people hidden in the country that can just buy. Rates of Hunter, shit. Hunter Biden. Think about all the, like, the guys that collect like Hitler memorabilia. Yeah. That yeah. goes for fucking millions of dollars. Yeah. That and it's people that just crazy. hate Jews. It's true. I bet this guy bought it. Mm. This doctor uh, had this thing. I, I watched like 10 minutes of it and it was, uh, it was, it's a little interesting. Okay. Let's check this out. Okay. This doctor was called the N word by one of his clients. Mm. What do you, what do you, what is doc what do doctors call the people that come in? Not clients. Patients. Patients. Right, right, <laughs> right, right, right. Of course. <laughs> No, of course. What's going on there? He wanted to make sure you knew. He I'm, knew. I'm, test, I'm testing you, dipshit. <laughs> okay? Gotcha. I cover every base. <laughs> so anyway, let's check right, this what guy is, out. In my chair, not too long ago, a black person in my chair, not too long ago, called me the N-word. Well, maybe he's not a doctor. Is he a, a dentist? Maybe he looks like I he can't. Should be uh, I, I guess is that dentist color? I don't know what the, I can't tell. Could but. Be More specifically, he called me his N word. You my N word. This guy looks like okay. a young Kevin Klein, doesn't he? I can't remember who that is. Kevin he, Klein. He looks like a Civil War. I'm, I'm right again. Here we go. Dude. I believe you. Let's You're go. always great. I am with, autistic with look as hell. Let's see. Oh shit! That's a that's a young Kevin Klein. Oh ah! Uh, you look at you him. Mean, Can uh, you type in young Kevin Klein? Yeah, let's do that. Let's I almost it. want to say the poor man's Robin Williams, but he was also a fantastic actor. Look at oh, that. A bit it's getting quite look, close. Look at that. And Can then, we see him with a beard. There's got to be. It was mm. the seventies or eighties. They don't. They didn't have beards. Okay, the actors didn't have beards, beards back right? then. Yeah. And then. Sure, that's close. A little, yeah. yeah. That's Kevin Klein. Yeah, it's Klein. It's never happened to me before. Never had a black person. Definitely not at work, for sure. I don't think any time in my entire life has that ever happened. At the same time, he puts his hand out I like don't this. Get it. You've never you been called yeah, the n-word by a black dude. Like what? You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, what the honestly. hell have you been up to? Yeah, you never once had any fun. <laughs> Are you, you never me? once were cool around You've black guys. You've never once been like kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Crazy. 
Yeah. Every white guy now. That's every, I have a list in my head every, every time. Every white happened. guy has yeah. a whole file cabinet yeah. in their head of the times they've been called the N word by a yeah. black guy. My favorite memories. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Even the even with an ER, it's great. Yeah. It's the best feeling in the world. Best feeling <laughs> ever. N word. Put his hand out, and then my hand goes into his. So imagine one of these hands is black. Yes. And then it's the hands come hand together. Is he being funny? Like what it the fuck? felt no like clue. a sonic boom was created. This warmth. Entered my body. This is why would you do this? And I felt like we solved racism. Just right then and there, like it was like everything's everything's okay. This we doc, are doc, we are cool AF. Doctor Brady, we're Smith. good. That's what it felt like. Uh, what did I do for him? I rushed his crown. Oh, he's a so crowns guy. normally are a ten day turnaround, and he was traveling and had some commitments. Like I gotta have that sooner, and I was like, let me make a phone call. Have it back to you in three days. You my, boom, hand clasp. Say it. Sonic yeah. boom. Sonic boom. Solved. So now I'm his ride or die. And oh, I don't think he knows do that. More so black people, you wanna, yeah, give you us know, Sonic you, boom again. You know that term. <laughs> How come he knows ride or die, but he's all shocked by being called the N-word? Uh, yeah, uh, this is brutal. Are you kidding me? How, what is going on in this country where people that have like jobs that they've had to go to college for are they're, they're just like they go right on the internet and they just are like yeah I'm gonna get I'm gonna fire myself it's not enough he must own the practice that's my only explanation I think possibly pro- yeah he owns I it. think that it's just now the new currency it's no longer being respected in your field or having yeah, like yeah. a a respected title like doctor dentist what it's now like the only thing that gets any that anybody cares about is Am I going viral on TikTok? Yeah, it's true. Mm-hmm. It's true. So it's like, fuck it. I, I, I just finished fucking 10 years of school, but I don't have any numbers mm-hmm. on fucking TikTok. Your fucking heart surgeon's doing doing the, the a dance. <laughs> COVID on caused TikTok this. right before. Yeah. yeah, it is COVID. Yeah, all COVID those, did this. All those nurses. Fuck them. He wishes he was a nurse. He wanted to be mm-hmm. an RN. Sure. Mm-hmm. I could see that. Let's listen to the double meaning there. He wishes he was an oh. RN. Oh. Right, folks? A real, real ass. Yeah. I'm not going to say it. Yeah. But yeah, that's what it was. That's exactly. what Devin was in there. Better die white person, call him your N word. It comes at a cost. It comes at a cost. Because now I think, I mean, I'm not going to say the N word. But <sighs> I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I shouldn't uh, even be thinking about that. Wow. But I am thinking about it. This man and is I know brave. I, I know I shouldn't. But it's like you get into a club. What is. You're not. How is you're, he? You're never, never going to get into normal. But someone vouches for you, so you're in there. This year. Now, you're in the club, but that doesn't mean you can act like a fool when you're in the club. You can't do that. You'll get kicked out of the club and never invited back. So I'm in the club, and I'm so excited. Like, I just don't know if I can behave myself. So that's the cost. He seems like the guy man, that you would be like, fuck, we got to go out to lunch with him. I hope he doesn't say anything fucking annoying or, like, too gross around the people we are in public. He doesn't seem fun enough to have this, like, riff he's doing right now. He seems like a very boring dentist guy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, dentists are psychopaths. Yeah, they're crazy. High suicide. Imagine rate. devoting your life to fucking like mouth uh, bones. Mouths are so fucking yeah. gross. They're disgusting. They're disgusting. Bad all breath. all day, you just work on fucking mouth knives. Mouth bones. Mouth knives. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what a weird, weird freak you have to be. Mouth knives. Does it feel good? It might be the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Definitely in my career. Definitely in my career. For sure. Dude, does this oh, guy like, live fellow- in Pleasantville? How has he never yeah. heard black people say the N-word? It's gotta be like Utah or some shit. You know what I mean? He's never had black people just like be like, yo, this. Yeah. This dude, like, you my know. Devin. Yeah. Yeah. They. they, they yeah. I mean, I guess it's not that crazy, but. The way he's acting is to put this online is insane, especially as like a guy that's like, what did dentists make? They make like a couple hundred thousand a year. If you well, first of all, if you own your own your own uh, yeah. practice, you yeah. could make I don't know if it's practice or what, but if you own your own dentist place, you could you, you're a millionaire, yeah. right? So at the very least, hundreds of thousands of dollars. I I think what we're seeing here is a guy that is super unfulfilled, and he became a dentist, and it didn't 
fill whatever was empty in him like you thought it would. Yeah. I don't like, think my he's... parents are proud of me, but it's just not quite given me the thing I thought. Of. He's like, oh, well, I, let me try to be creative. I'll on. be the viral I'll, I'll dentist. Do a, I'll do a, yeah, I'll be the viral dentist. I'll do a yeah. comedy routine I don't on TikTok. I don't think he's behind enemy lines in like a major city where he could potentially be canceled on Yelp for this. I think he's probably, he probably runs a small practice in like fucking Montana. I would say somewhere in the Midwest, well, absolutely. All yeah. his patients probably think this is hilarious. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, for the American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry, oh, that's a nice certificate. Have you ever had a black person call you their N-word? No? <laughs> yeah, keep working. Keep working hard. You'll get there. Trust me. Just keep working hard. It's the I pinnacle. he didn't even do real dental work. I bet he put in a grill. He's <laughs> <laughs> in MacArthur Park putting in grills. <laughs> of accomplishment. I don't even care about anything else. That's all I want. I want that more. What's the only thing better than having that happen once? Have it happen twice. See, so this, I is, think- this is a liberal this is a liberal video to make in nineteen ninety nine. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. This is when you go, wow, that, that's that what it's kind of funny and shocking yeah. to be like a white guy that's like, I was called the N-word. It's like Seinfeld comedy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's a whole Seinfeld episode where Jerry gets called the N-word, and he's like, well, oh, my God. Right, yeah. right. Exactly. Also, what you're not seeing in the background behind outside of the office is about eight hysterical hens, mm-hmm. dental hygienists. Mm-hmm. These chicks who are glued to their phones all fucking day, showing each other TikToks. And then one day he does something, on, or, or they convince him to do like a little dance on TikTok, and he does it. And now all these girls like, "Oh, he's so funny. We love him. He's very. We did that." And I was like, very good "I'm show, addicted yeah. to TikTok. Yep. And I'm gonna fucking keep doing wacky TikTok." Oh, there's there, you know there's cops that can't stop doing TikTok. Oh yeah, there's there's cops that are in their squad car fucking doing TikTok. Insane. It's so gay. That's the gayest <laughs> shit I've ever heard. Dude. They need to they need to show the black guy who called him the N word this video so he can recant the N word. Yeah, I bet it was guy. like fucking Cornell West. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I never said it. What is he talking? What? <laughs> I never he's said like, it. What? <laughs> It's like Condoleezza Rice is his patient. <laughs> Do you think Condoleezza Rice has ever said the N word to herself? <laughs> as she as she as she as she uh, uh, self flagellates <laughs> in the mirror. She's <laughs> in the mirror like that fucking yeah, movie like, we watched like from the, the World Da Vinci War II. Code. Condoleezza Rice just looks in the mirror. <laughs> 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 Who's the other guy? Fucking colon Powell. colonoscopy pal. Yeah. <laughs> That means I have to rush crowns for all my black patients. Is that Jesus racist? Christ. I don't care. I don't care. I'm chasing that feeling. I'm solving racism one he has rush crown patient. at a time. What a terrible what, idea. I want to see the rest of this guy's stuff later. I don't know anything about that, uh, Dr. Brady Smith. Brady Smith. Jesus I don't Christ. Know. His I don't, name's Brady. I don't know what's up with Dr. Brady Smith. Okay. God. This uh, was interesting. I didn't watch it, but uh, I just saw the title and I looked at the at the screenshot and it's like, this is the first time meeting a transgender person in Texas. Let's oh. see. Oh, shit. So I, none of us have seen this. I doubt it's positive, but maybe it is. Maybe they're like amazed. Yeah, this guy who, doesn't look like someone who would be He doesn't happy. look like he'd be like great, happy about it, but yeah. we never know. You don't want to judge a fatso with a beard by its cover. Yeah. We all know that there's people that are disgusted whenever they see a trans person. And I'm one of them. And we all know of the people who don't care if they see a trans person. Dude, I would hate but it if my dad did this. we're a third type of person. We get boners. Or at least I am. I can't. <laughs> I thought that was legitimately <laughs> in the video. Oh my God. I bet that is it. You're probably yeah. right, Joey. See, we just kind of had our first uh, experience with the trans woman. See, she walked in behind us, and I opened the door for her just as I would anybody. But uh, and I didn't think twice about who she was. He said, hey, Action Bronson. Then I noticed. Could I get your autograph? Wait a second. <laughs> That's a trans woman. Can I meet you in the bathroom? <laughs> I carved a glory hole into the it, truck stop he goes, stall. <laughs> so I looked at her and I said, you better not say anything about last night. <laughs> when I tell you how happy 
it made me. I'm getting emotional now. Oh, wow. Myself. Okay. Fuck oh, my God. To be able to see somebody be out and open to the world here. What is he Small hiding? Town, Texas. He goes, I just wish I could be out and open to the world. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I wish I could tell my son I'd like to do the same thing to the to the can that he's doing in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> You just gotta know how much bravery that takes. Dude, shut up. Right, Mikey? Hell yeah! Dude, sh- oh my god. I wanted to say something to her, but then I realized I'd probably look weird, you know, smiling at a stranger. But if you're a trans woman and you came here to the landmark truck stop in Clyde, <laughs> Texas... <laughs> I mean, come on! Oh, no. Come on! I want to let yeah. you know you can have my wallet. Yeah. And that you serviced me particularly well. <laughs> He's like a Coen Brothers character all of a sudden. <laughs> particularly. Just know we're proud of you. Right, Mikey? Yep. That is Mikey not, looks like Ellen Page. That is not where I, <laughs> not where I thought it was going to go. Elliot Page, Elliot you Page, fucking oops. asshole. You fucking scumbag, fucking John. scumbag. Jesus uh, Christ. What a fag. Man. Wow. Do we have any? Uh, there's uh, no corner this week. We're, I think we're taking a week off. From next the week we're doing. Day. We have the best corner coming up next week. We have shoe. On the oh pod. yeah, shoe's oh no, coming. shoe's coming. Shoe's coming. Yeah. yeah so I don't know then if we the have week time after, for a corner. We, yeah. the week after, we'll do uh, the Devin's Hollywood Hangout. Is the next corner okay? Oh, uh, we just Hollywood story. Are you going to even it? be in town for that? Oh, I might not be. But so what? Well, the, the week, week after, after we can run it. All right, we'll see. Um, let's do one more video. There's a. Asian family, they beat their son for spending their entire life savings on in-game content. Uh, totally fair. Right? Totally fucking fair. Right? right? He spent all their money? You never know. At Third World Country? With the headlines here. It's, this this could be over, you know, he ate the last fucking, you know, the fucking last uh, package of seaweed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is sad. Jesus. Jesus Christ, this is sad. Dude. It's really fucked up, but it's my favorite punishment. But my favorite thing is this guy who's gaming who is not paying attention to anything. Oh, happening. okay. So these are these are uh, internet cafes in China. People like fucking live in these things. Like it's pathetic. So like you'll get like because China has like way more men than women. So there's way more retarded incels in China than than in like I think even in America. So really? like yeah. So I think people will actually like, not enough shootings. Get those shootings well, they up. Have guns, you know. So they just they have a lot of stabbings. I think, but uh, people just live in these internet cafes like and just spend all their money. They'll sleep in them because they're open twenty four seven. It's kind of like it's kind of like staying at Wee Spa. Or those people who live at Wee Spa, they just do it there. So I think probably this guy like escaped his rural family, like went to this internet cafe and just spent all their money. And that's why they're beating him. Or he's a child that goes to internet cafe. I don't know. He doesn't look that old. No, they, it, it is a kid that spent his family's money. Well, the best part about the video is this guy that's playing games that doesn't yeah. seem to care that there's a child being beaten half to death. He's like, I got a killing him. spree going right now. Yeah, I don't give like, a yeah. fuck. He's like, my fucking call, my, my counter strike numbers are like out of this world <laughs> right now. Like, I'm not, I don't it's care. It's a ladder match. How old is this fucking kid? Damn, that big girl is holding him down. Damn, that is not fun yeah. to listen to. <laughs> also, take your beating like a man if you're going to be a little shit. If you spent your family's entire life savings, I mean, come on. Take the I'd beating. do the same thing. I mean, he's hitting with the keyboard now. You would do the same thing, John. If my you, child, beat your child in, in public, spent my life savings on fucking like candy. Crush? Why did your child have access to your? That's life a good fucking point. If he point. escaped my fucking home and then went to some internet cafe why, and why spent did these all my retar- money, why did these retards let their kid have access to their money? Like, yeah, that, that, that that's you know, that's idiotic. There's no idiotic. excuse. Well, I mean, if 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 somehow he hacked my bank account, you know what I mean, or some shit. Well, I would then, hit him with a keyboard. If yeah. my kid hacked my bank account. I wouldn't even be upset. I'd be like, "All right, now let's. It's time for another hack." Oh, so you'd you'd, you'd I'd use that. I'd be like, "I didn't know you. I had a fucking a beautiful mind on my hands." <laughs> yeah. Hugh Jackman from uh, yeah, that that yeah. uh, Halle Berry movie. Yeah, yeah. I, I would be like, "All right, so <laughs> let's use you." <laughs> Okay. This, I mean, uh, this looks like a grown man getting hit. Maybe a fourteen-year-old. Is it an actual like child? Can we see him? Ah! 
I mean, the kids, the kids have some big legs, bro. This the, guy's being a bitch. The kids putting on a show, yeah. but but it is crazy. I mean, these these, these Chinese people also they don't take him home and beat him in private. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, they have no. It's very uncouth. He's turning into like Joe Pesci. He's like slamming yeah. keyboards on his head. <laughs> you start, you stuttering, mothering prick, prick, you. You stuttering, mothering prick. You, you Jew motherfucker, you. Yeah. <laughs> you are not wise guy. <laughs> Mainland Chinese people have like no manners. I, you know, it was a really of common thing when I was in China. It was uh, they Chinese let their... people have no sense of the, any of their surroundings. Seemingly, they can't tell up from down. Chinese people are the only people that will have like a, a ten thousand dollar camera, and they use it to take pictures of themselves in front of the mall directory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just standing in front of it with their family, like, yes, we are here. <laughs> we are at Glendale Galleria. This is the greatest moment of our lives. <laughs> you make sure you use $20,000 DSLR. <laughs> they, uh, I remember it was really common to just, they would just let their toddlers just squat and shit in like a mall, like on the floor. You'd like go into like a mall in China when I was in Beijing and you'd just see little kids like taking shits. Are everywhere. you fucking kidding I'm me? I'm fucking with you, dude. There's or a, like in a park, they would just, it was like fine to just let your child squat and shit anywhere they wanted. Well, they opened a, a Disneyland in China and it almost instantly got closed down because everybody was just shitting all over. Yeah. Like right in the walkways, like in public, they just shit the whole place up and they had to close it down. Yeah. And in Hong Kong, like there's like signs that are like, do not shit or spit here. Like, cause in Hong Kong, like people are a bit more like civilized, ma- civilized, and then like in the mainland Chinese people come over and just like spit everywhere, and then like they don't know how to wait in lines, they don't know how lines work. Hong Kong kicks ass, Macau kicks ass. I think Macau seems cool. Macau is the shit. It's one of the Gambling. best. I think it's the best city. I maybe say, on Earth. James Bond. Mainland China, they have some issues, but there's just like billions of people, and it's hard to manage. It's tough to have a lot of public <laughs> toilets. I like Taiwan more than China. What's that yeah, about? That's the Republic of China. I like Taiwanese food more. Really? What's your favorite dish? Taiwanese food's much better. It's like dumplings and shit, right? Dumplings, Dan Dan noodles. Dan Dan noodles. Dan Dan, Dan. noodles. <laughs> they got the spicy peanuts. They got woodier mushrooms. They got all these th- they all, mm. they got these sides that are actually pretty good, pal. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you go to China, you got to eat a fucking you got to eat a, a duck's foot. <laughs> you know, yeah. Thai, Taiwanese food's fucking great. You got, you got the minced pork with maybe there's a little cardamom in it. What's or, cardamom? I don't it's know. Like a it's a spice. A spice, spice okay. It tastes like cinnamon, kind of. Like you get this like pork that's like cinnamony. Mm. Spicy, but also salty. cinnamony. Salty. Spicy, salty. They, they, and then it's on rice and there's a boiled egg. And I don't know. I, just, I like ta- Taiwanese food today. Taiwanese food. I was just, just about to say we should go to a dumpling house. Today. Taiwanese food rocks the fucking shit. Dumplings can't be Taiwanese, are they? No, I don't have dumplings. Like but I think, I think dumplings Hong Kong's are, a big dim sum place, too. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like if I went to China, I'd hate all the food. You'd be I, well. It's it's it's. If good. I went to China, I'd be I'd ask where the Panda Express is. It's they like do have you, those. it's like me, uh, real Mexican like tacos or like they don't have cheese in them, and you're just like yeah, they have like cojita. Exactly. Like, what the fuck this Everyone is always cheese. tells you out here in LA, they go, you got to go to the authentic, the a Mexican, the Mexican, the, yeah. you know, hawk, and it's like there's a cactus in my burrito. <laughs> yeah. Not, I didn't my my, my night. I didn't want to have my mouth pierced by a cactus. There's a or, scorpion in this. Sorry, <laughs> like, I'm a not really. Cricket. That into this, okay? I don't like fried crickets, yeah. okay? That's not like authentic Mexican to me, okay? Oh, there's a child in my in my burrito. There's a smuggled child. Okay? El Chapo's fingers Sorry. in my taco. There's a fucking tunnel in my taco. <laughs> Chapito is crawling out of my flauta. Okay. This right isn't now. the best. <laughs> this isn't the best. I put, put some uh, sour cream, some guacamole. Yeah. You know, fucking appropriation's great. Absolutely. How about that, put folks? Some French fries enough, in there. Enough, enough yeah. of the anti-appropriation horse shit. Mexican uh, burritos should have some other stuff in it. Mm-hmm. I don't want. If you go get an authentic Mexican taco truck burrito. You wonder what it tastes like? It tastes like you're eating hay with pinto beans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's it's dried chicken mm. with fucking rice that's been sitting around for fucking years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's just not fun. Yeah. But you go to some place made by you know, some 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 place in San Diego, yes. if you will, mm-hmm. and you got the guacamole, you got the sour cream, mm-hmm. the yeah. Nico de Gallo. 
They add stuff to it. They make it mushy and nice. If you if you want like a family, like if you take your family out to Mexican food, you want it to be like shitty. Like, you want yeah. you want like Tex Mex, El, El Compadre, El Compadre. Yes, yes, you want something that's like kind of like uh, everything has. There's like a peppercini and everything in El Compadre for some reason. No, they have a fucking. They give me a peppercini on top of my everything. Okay, on the side. Yeah, yeah the peppercini on the side. On the side yeah, but, but that's like, well, that's what's Mexican about that? Yeah, I don't know. You just need, it just needs more cheese. Yeah, there's never cheese in authentic Shredded. Mexican burritos. They never put cheese in it. You always have to ask, and they look at you like you're a white. Piece Every of time shit. I go to Dona Stella, or, you know, our favorite taco truck, it's I end up. It takes me ten minutes to tell them like, okay, everything on it. They're like, what do you? What is everything? Oh, fucking cilantro, onions, could be cheese, sour cream, you go the good avocado, stuff. all the shit that you know I want. Why You know what I was asking for no. when I said that. And if you didn't order that, the burrito you ordered, would have would have it would have tasted like what a horse sleeps on. <laughs> <laughs> it also goes from like $12 to like 30 after everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? But um, I don't know. Should we wrap this up, I guess? Yeah. yeah. Should I do it? Should I like try? Should we try and do a song? I don't know. I feel like weird now without the songs. I feel you know, like people are gonna hate us. I miss some, but maybe let them wanting more. Yeah, leave, leave them, them wanting, wanting more. more. Sure, yeah. sure. Okay, all right. Because do we? Ha- I mean, like, what we don't? I guess is I there, have no clue. I would. Just is be- there an orca song? Is I would there a, just a whale do a, song? I would just do a song about John being gay. I mean, I really have nothing Let's else save with an orca. Let's save it for Shu, because Shu's gonna want a live song. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. You know we're gonna do shoes. Uh, shoe is gonna be coming on the day uh, Jack's memorial is next Friday. That's gonna be weird. We should make him be like, "Hey, come the next day or the day before." Yeah, it's also it's kind of odd. I feel like we'd be like uh, like pissing on his grave by having on a, a maniac pedophile hunter. Jack would be like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" He, Jack would be so like, "Why would you? You know, this is terrible." Yeah, but a schedule's a schedule, Jack. Okay, hey, you made the decision, not me. So we're going to be doing that episode. Hey, Jack, if you stayed alive, you could have stopped us. Yeah, you could have stopped us if you wanted to, fucking asshole. Um, Yeah, we'll do it. But he wants to do a pedophile hunt the next day. I feel like the next day I'm just going to be consumed with... uh, I'll go on the pedophile hunt. I don't know. I kind of want to just like kind of drink. I I imagine I'm going to be hanging out with people that are also sad about... The, or, you know, yeah, same. I don't know if I can do that. I, I, don't, I don't mean either. I didn't know when I signed up for that that it was the. I, I didn't. Think I would about, be doing a podcast with him and then like signing up to do. She's gonna thing. think we're such bitches, but I didn't even think about that. And well, it's I, we not all gonna know feel he doesn't right. care about suicide. Well, well you guys, I mean, I mean, he's 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 forced a bunch of people to suicide. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But they were bad, bad people. I'm kidding. I'm just. I'm just saying. Like, I didn't even realize. That it's a that very the, morbid day, and it's gonna be. It's gonna feel weird going if, on a pedophile hunt with Shoe. If, big wacky game show if, pedophile yeah. hunt. If next Friday we're just we're already doing an episode with him, I'm not sure I'm gonna have it in me to like the next day. Not. I gotta have a day. Same. I'm gonna have a day. We're you and I. We we should go. You know what we should do? We should go to like all the places he used to. Li- he lived at. Go yeah, we'll go to like the take uh, pictures. Go to go to the Third Korea Western, town, Manhattan, sure, Third yeah, Manhattan, Western. Yeah. Um, the other one on off Rampart. Go back to your place because he live he lives. <laughs> the weirdest thing about this is that Jack, when he died, lived right by Joseph. He always mm-hmm. lived right by me. He, yeah, he actually always ended up living right by you. Other than when he lived on Rampart for a little. Yeah, bit. yeah, he yeah. Lived on Rampart for like a year and a half, two years. I was but, in like Santa Monica during that. Yeah, you were yeah. in Santa Monica, but but other than that, you lived in two locations where you were uh, 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 point two miles away from him every time. Yeah, the fir- yeah, well, the my first place that I ever moved into in Koreatown, I moved in and Devin came over for the first time and was like, "Oh shit, dude." Jack lives, like, right there. Mm-hmm. Mm. It was very bizarre. And then, uh, yeah, so then I went to Santa Monica after that. Or was it, I was in Koreatown there for, like, five years, but then Santa Monica for, like, a year or two. And then the next place I moved was Little Tokyo. Same exact thing. Devin was yeah. like, oh, Jack was right fucking there. And it was just a weird thing where each place I'm, I'm walking around, I just see Jack everywhere. Yeah. So next Saturday, let's we'll, – we'll play it by ear, but – I don't know if I immediately. I, I I think I might have signed up for a pedophile hunt too quickly. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk to Keith. Maybe he's got something planned. I for imagine Jack. next Saturday we'll just. I'm. You know, I can. I'll invite people. We can all just hang out on my deck. Let's do, and let's do that or something. Do we, something. Have, we can go to your. I don't know. We can just hang out at a bar sure. or something. But I don't know if I want to be hunting pedophiles. I, I can't hunt day. a pedophile. I, I, I'm just, actually with you. I can't hunt a pedophile. I, I can't do that. I thought about it today. I was like, oh shit, that's the same. 
Nah, I just, I don't know. I like the idea of, like, going on, like, a bar hop of Jack's favorite places. Like, we'll go to the wine bar, you know, at the end. We'll go chronological where it's like, oh, in Koreatown, we we'll go yeah. here and then blah, blah, blah. I went to the Mermaid with him out in Koreatown, or uh, out in your little area, Tokyo. Little Tokyo. And, yeah, we'll, 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 we should go to every place and do what blacks do and, like, pour, like, liquor out. How dare you? <laughs> we should go buy like Hennessy and pour it out at all his Jack places. Probably, he I don't know if you love that or hate that. I really don't care what he thinks. That's anymore. a good point. He's you're a, kind he's of a, angry. Mm, at Jack. He's a dead asshole. You're now angry. Who at I him. love, but I get yeah, it. Yeah, I, I kind of want him. That's what he should be screaming. He should be. You're, tr you're trolling him up I wanna, in heaven. I'm going to troll him. <laughs> I'm going to do everything he hates. I'm going to dance. Him. I'm going to dance really badly. We <laughs> should listen to like the worst music. Have your ever. shoulders super up. Yeah, I, my shoulders are up. He always used to make fun of me for having my shoulders up. <laughs> oh man, I miss him so much. Uh, rest in peace to love the great you, Jack Knight. We love you. We love you. To rest death. in peace. Um, yeah, you fucking say it. Man. <laughs> you better fucking bad. say it. Okay? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, weird month. It's a weird month, it's, dude. There's a weird vibe in the air, like for the past three weeks. July will always yeah. be weird to me. Yeah. The guy. Imagine, like, you know, it's kind of crazy. Like, if you have friends in your life that are, that, and if you kill yourself, you can make that month miserable for them for the rest of their lives. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I will never live through another July where I'm not like all fucked up and weird. The minute. It was like a couple days before July started, and I remember I was like, oh, shit, it's, I com started it's coming up already? It. In June, I started going like, holy shit, it's been a fucking year. And that's what's sick about it is that it feels like it was literally fucking, like, it feels like it was like four weeks ago to me. It was a weird. Very bizarre period It, it felt really long and very fast at the same time mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. Like it felt like ten it felt, years. It felt long. Yeah, exactly. But, but, but also, same, when I yeah. think back, yeah. I, I'm just like, was that could have been fucking yesterday? Uh, exactly. Mm. That's what I feel like. I mean, I, I remember, I remember being in Seattle with you, like it was yesterday. I remember. I feel like we did that episode where we like recapped Seattle like just yesterday. Same. It's very bizarre. Very bizarre. Anyway, um, you know, hug your loved ones and uh, take their guns away. Don't kill yourselves. Just don't. Yeah. Just don't kill yourself. Okay, okay. We got a very suicidal audience, so this is a good message. This is a good message. Yeah, don't do for it. You. Don't kill yourself. Yeah, and also, like, you uh, d definitely don't kill yourself because you weren't even ta you're not even talented. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much harder it is when the guy that kills himself that you love is talented. Oh, it's way worse, way worse. So if you kill yourself and you're not talented. Dude, no one's going to fucking care. I so think don't. you're making it worse. Now they're probably, <laughs> you're making, you're like talking them into it. No, they should care. The only reason, if you die, you want people to care. So you got to go work. You get out there. You fucking work. They're like, oh, I don't fucking want to work, dude. Yeah. Like working makes so me. Oh kill well, myself. then I can't get out of bed. Then, yeah. How about this? Then kill yourself. Oh no! 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 no, 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 no. I'm saying you're gonna have to bleep that. Yeah, bleep it, bud. Make yourself famous, noteworthy. Yeah. So then, if you do make a really retarded, like, who the decision? fuck cares about noteworthiness, dude? I'm a fuck. Yeah. I got a fucking shotgun barrel. I live in. I live in no, fucking. No, no, I live no. in fucking Springfield, Missouri, and my life here's sucks. Here's the thing. I got. Here, here's the I true care. advice. Message John and talk to him privately on Instagram because he's a really good guy. For I'm advice. a really nice guy to talk people off yeah. the edge. Yeah. John Badman two days on Instagram. John Badman if you're gonna kill yourself, yeah, if you're like really John. depressed, you can hit me up. I don't care. Yeah. He's so. he's the best guy to talk to about that. But anyways. Message John because like John because people can't believe John hasn't killed himself. Yeah, it's kind of wild. <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> Listen, fellas, been there, done that. I love you guys. I love all of you too. Uh, yeah, thank you. Dragon energy. Dragon energy. Dragon energy, Dragon baby. Dragon energy. Good night. Good night. Good night. Love everybody. This is the first time we've taken.